With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Bismarck State earned the right to compete for the Region 13 title this week. The Mystics needed to beat Lake Region over the weekend, which they did with a sweep on Saturday. It, in, in the best two out of three series, BSC outscored the Royals 20 to two. The Mystics have been hitting the ball well. They've won 20 of their last 23 games, scoring nine runs or more 19 times and 11 runs or more 10 times. Jaden Scott's team is hitting 350, which is the sixth best average in the country. Uh, we like our lineup. It's pretty deep, but um, you know, Will Bachman, just one player of the week. He's been swinging it really, really well. And then JJ Ritter might be the most consistent guy in the conference. Um, Jordan Tucker has been a great table setter for us this year, just just getting us started every game and, and kind of doing everything. Um, and you know what they've been able to do in, inside and, and just keep getting better and finding ways to do it in, in less than ideal circumstances has, has been amazing to watch. With the weather starting to warm up, the athletes say it's finally beginning to feel like a normal season, even though it's about over. Being outside, every chance that we get, we take a, we don't take it for granted. Um, you know, seeing the ball out of the hand, off the bat, outside is definitely way better than seeing it inside. Bismarck State finished second in the Mondack during the regular season, and it is the two seed for the region tournament as well. The Mystics played Dakota County Tech on Saturday instead of Friday in Miles City. It's been postponed due to the forecast. The Pioneers are the host team because they had the best record in the conference. Bismarck Mandan is hosting the Northern Sun Conference Baseball Tournament this week. Augie is the number one seed and the Vikings open on Wednesday at Memorial Park. Mankato is the two seed and the Mavericks play their opening round game in Bismarck on Wednesday. Ariana Passeri uh, jumped herself into the record book in the Marauders final track meet before the conference championships. The University of Mary Senior set a meet mark at NDSU sailing 6.04 meters. I've been long jumping since I was really little, and um, it's my, definitely my favorite event. I think my speed helps. That's why I like running open events like 4x1 in the Open 100, and yeah, it's been a good season. Ariana ran a leg on the 4x100 winning relay that also set a meet mark at NDSU. She's already qualified for the D2 National Outdoor in the long jump, and that definitely took some pressure off this spring. It's been nice. I can just... Um, just focus on improving now and not worry about, um, like I can scratch and not have to worry about getting one in, but I can keep going for those big marks and kind of pushing for it. The NSIC Outdoor starts on Thursday in Mankato. The Division II National Meet is in Pueblo, Colorado, beginning on the 25th. And in high school softball this afternoon, Wilton Wing, 10 run to Ned Rose, and I believe that puts the Miners at 5-1 and one in the Region 4 standings. All right, thanks, Lee. We'll be right back after this.